So this is how the garden section is looking currently. Oh, it's so sunny. Can you see? I don't even know if you can see. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Plot 42. Um, I actually don't know what day it is right now. Um, maybe day 33, unsure. I haven't been here for a good month um, due to life, due to moving home and it's been really cold as well so I haven't necessarily have to have been here as much and uh, I've really missed it, I've really missed being here but I have now officially had this plot for over a year and I think the transformation that has occurred over the year is really incredible and um, there's a lot more stuff that I want to do, a lot more stuff that I need to kind of get it looking to where I want it to but today I'm gonna spend the majority of my time finishing these raised beds getting them ready because you know growing season is almost creeping up um, I need to make sure the greenhouse gets finished in time as well so I can start um, growing some seeds and getting that ready for this year of growing which is really exciting there's been a lot of heavy winds here in Bristol the greenhouse and shed has stayed up thank god but this fence hasn't um so I'm gonna after all this effort putting up the fence I'm actually going to be taking it down because I need the wood for the beds rather than the fence for now and I'm struggling to find some wood so I'm just gonna reuse uh, the wood to make more beds first and as many as I can. I might be able to get two out of all the fence that is around and other bits of wood that I've got here at the allotment um, which will be ideal. I only kind of want two more um, anyway here. So that's the plan anyway but yeah I'm just get cracking really. <laughs> so I've got cardboard I'm just filling it up making sure no tape being kept on the cardboard just putting it at the bottom okay so i have filled the beds up with a wheelbarrow full of chippings some manure and now i'm just going to top it off with some soil hopefully it can like fill it up relatively close to the top Ooh. Ooh. that I have been composting and um, a lot of organic matter so all of the kitchen veggie scraps non-cooked kitchen veggie scraps shredded paper we've got cardboard bits of hay just all that kind of good stuff so I'm gonna put a little bit of that sprinkle it in a little bit on both of these beds um, and just make sure like these this soil is just so rich and so good and hopefully fingers crossed I'll get some absolute monstrous carrots growing out of them. That would be an absolute pleasure, I tell you that. I didn't realise how long it would take me to fill up these raised beds. That took forever. <laughs> Why do I want to build more? Oh my god, that took forever. I'm pretty tired pretty knackered. I've had to do a lot of heavy lifting and my back is now killing me but oh what a gorgeous day though oh, I might. I'm gonna sort this fence out I think maybe I'll have time to build another bed where the wheelbarrow is but yeah I'll get back to you I'll see you in a sec. Ending day 33 here I've managed to take the fence down, build a third planter, it's a little bit filled, I might just chuck some some of the compost stuff in there quickly before I head home. A lovely old man gave me a compost bin, how cute. Greenhouse has to be a priority because I need to start sowing seeds soon and just like getting all that ready for sowing my seeds this year and growing stuff from seed rather than um, buying all the plants outright just because it's so expensive so i think i'm gonna just do a last little trip of the compost 
to here. I know I haven't really filmed much today. Um, in the midst of moving, I forgot I had my portable battery and I haven't charged it for a long time. So my phone has been like on the brink of dying and I've needed that and classic um forget about my phone kind of thing and i've kind of just enjoyed being back here after a long month away and just really cracking on it's been an absolutely lovely day a few spots of rain so that's it for day 33 happy yearly anniversary allotment plot 42 you guys have been joining me for a, for a year now on this journey which is amazing so thank you so much and yeah i'll catch you on day 34. hello you lovely bunch of humans we are back at plot 42 i haven't documented myself being here for a little while and do you know what i kind of enjoyed it I'm not gonna lie i've been doing some stuff kind of on my own i've got a lot of seeds to sow today i have brought a dicentra to plant today i've seen a lot of our chippings at the gates to i need a nab before anyone else does I need to give you a tour and show you what I've been doing off camera and kind of what I've been getting up to just on my own. If you've been following my social media, I have been doing little snippets here and there and documenting the day, but not a full on thing. Without further ado, I'm going to go grab myself some bark chippers before everyone else does because this is a very rare event and I need some bark chippings. <laughs> Always good to have some. I need to fill up the greenhouse and, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go do that first and then I'll give you guys a door. I think it's day 33 or 34, who knows. Anyway, I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, don't mind my absolutely windswept here. It is so windy today. My greenhouse door keeps blowing off as well, which is really annoying. I don't know how to make it stay. I just got a moment to shut it every time. But I probably should start with the greenhouse. I have built bench, bench shelves. Um, it's nearly complete. There's still a few gaps of glass left to fill. So this is how the garden section is looking currently. Oh, it's so sunny. Can you see? I don't even know if you can see. <laughs> we have got seating area in the beds, doing well. Um, there are some beds popping off. The pond is filling up. Mm. Still got a weird like dent. Oh no, hey. Forget me not to come in. I have also made these really cute edging uh, with twigs and bamboos. I'm gonna do that around the whole thing when I get some more bamboo and twigs. I have also built more raised beds. My oregano has taken over my cold frame. So I'm going to divide it and add it on to the other herb bed and maybe put some in like a brick path and stuff just so it fills out that little, little gap there. When it's filled out the little gaps, it could just spread and have a heyday, you know? I'm just going to. It looks horrible. Right here. Trying to decide where to plant the dicentra. Because I wanted white dicentra within the borders to fit the scheme. And pink could work well, but I'm also now thinking I would quite like it near the pond. But I'm wondering, do I just get more for the pond or do I put this by the pond? Who would it do? Dysandra could take full sun, open spaces, but it does do better in um, a bit more of a shady area. But I love them. They're so cute with the little hearts. Do I want it by there? No, I think I want more grasses by the pond actually. So I'm going to plant it in one of the beds and I think it's going to go in the furthest bed. We might go here. Do you know what? Let's go right here. Let's do it. Uh, 
I've got some black currant bare root fruit bushes to go straight into the ground. I'm going to plant them here next to the seating area. The bed carrying on over there. I've also got some gooseberries as well. Loosen up the ground here. Get out the black currant. Just with my fork, creating a a loose divot in the ground. It's going to help tee some of those roots around, and then this is going to go in the ground. Cover it over. I'm going to stump around the base to really get it stuck in. We use some of this black chipping as mulch just around it to protect it as it as it buries itself in. Okay, so this little area is going to be my boggy garden. So let's make it. I don't have a lot of this, but it doesn't need to be watertight for a bog. It does need to have some sort of drainage, but it's all about obtaining that water um, and having a very, very slow drainage system, which creates a bog. Got this area here for it. Um, so it's not going to be deep, it's going to be like maybe this deep to dig it out and then I'm going to fill it up with some gravel. Now, once you're kind of happy with your bob, there it is, it seems a bit controversial but you want to pierce the liner with holes because we want to retain water but we also want to give the option to drain out because a bog is soggy but it's not holding water so here we go Ugh, pretty holy goes in there now it's pissed we can add a layer of gravel so this will just help retain the water Lots of those drainage holes up a little bit better. I have covered the bog over. I've got these two boggier plants. So this is Angelus Angelasis tenella. And this kind of is like a spreading kind of plant. Um, very low growing, stays on the ground, has these cute little pink flowers. And then I've also got, I think one of my favorite wildflowers, the ragged robin or light. Lichenous. I've had these for a little while. So it's about time they actually have a proper home. Um, so I'm going to plant these in the bog. It's absolutely soggy stuff. So I'm just going to try and go away some of the, the dirt it's here. Slightly stinky. I'm just going to plant that. Yeah. And put this around the edges. <laughs> Have it creeping around the bog as such. Okay. I'm gonna give them a good water. 